one back over to Patrick Elias. In front, oh, oh, I want to stay right here, right here. Chilling with my friends for another year. I would walk away from the spotlight for the good life. Come on, turn your hate into poetry. Pain in the power. And I need some friends in the minutes, in the hours. I would walk away from the spotlight for the good life. For the good life. What's up everybody, Older Schooler here with another drop in for ya. Now full disclosure, I just got home from my 20th high school reunion and it's pretty late uh, the night before I upload on Sundays, so if I sound a bit tired, that's why. So in this video, I'm bringing back the voiceover. Um, some people commented that they missed it, they like um, the commentary that I give after game where I have a little bit of time to think about how things went. So we're going to do that, plus the on ice mic. But in this skate, I tried out a cheapo Amazon uh, clip-on mic that I had found. Because I just assume a mic on me on the ice is going to get broken. So I thought I'd try a cheap version first. And I went through a lot of time trying to salvage the audio that that thing gave. It was kind of picking up more background than my voice. so. Sorry if the audio sounds a bit weird on the on ice, but I did what I could to save it. So yeah, that being said, here we go. Is that going? Yeah. It's only right? <laughs> I'm still having trouble moving side to side when somebody cuts across the crease. If anybody has any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. I don't know if I look that great. <laughs> breakaway after breakaway after breakaway. I should be used to that by now. There's something I'm not used to. I'm going to the hand a little bit. This night was, I think, the first time that I've seen slap shots during a skate. <laughs> but not the first time I couldn't stay on my feet. <laughs> Notice that I fixed the camera before I got set. <laughs> That's for sure. I normally don't eat um, within a couple hours of the skate, but this day I had missed lunch, and on my way to the rink I was really hungry, so I thought last minute I'll grab a bite to eat, and it was probably a mistake. Nice shot. It was a nice shot, but I really should have been in the uh, RVH there. The skater with the puck coming across the goal line, there's no reason why I should have left that side open. I got lucky there for sure. If I save that one, it's blind luck. Oof. That was a cup check. I mean, that was a cup check. <laughs> yeah, I felt that one pretty bad. Directly off the jack. Now you'll see it kind of bounces up off my toe, and then the shaft in my stick knocks it back over right into my shorts. Kind of like the famous Mike Smith shot. I was out of position. Right, no, I like no, I was out of position too. No big deal. Thanks, man. 
Hockey players are so nice. Except when they score on me. Oh, that's a laser. Now, hockey players are pretty nice. I don't know how many of them apologize for screening or obviously hitting me in the head, but generally all pretty nice guys. Nice shot, Tyler. Oh yeah, and Tyler was here at this gate. You'll see a lot of him tonight. And um, Nathan just went by with the white jersey with the teal. No, I have to see. Teal numbers and uh, teal letters. He's another repeat skater. It's nice to get guys that come, you know, to skates regularly. Always looking to get better turnouts at drop-in. <laughs> that was off your hand. Do you need to score that bad drop-in, Princess? Have at it. He was trying to call it a good goal, but clearly off the hand, so... <laughs> That chirp was justified. You know he's been saying all game. Oh yeah. I got caught in no man's land. I should have went for it. I skated out halfway and I'm like, no, he's going to get there. Yeah, I should have went with my instincts on that one. And Tyler took a spill at center ice there. Hey, your knee okay? I saw you get up kind of slow on that. We switch inside. I'm gonna go stop my whole blade from there just the back of my blade there. That'll oh, have I don't take his knees off. Yeah. That's pretty considerate of him. Not wanting to take somebody's knees out of a drop in. Ooh, glove save. <laughs> Switches teams, he still gets a breakaway first thing. <laughs> yeah. Not fun. When you're just getting breakaway after breakaway. Oh that was a nice shot. Placed it right over my shoulder. Nice tip. Okay. This is the time to learn stuff about myself because I'm dog tired. By this point, I should have learned a lot because I'm tired very often. Mine. 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 <laughs> I knew it immediately. Nice shot. Can't take you do me a huge favor. You fill me up. Well, that piece was about halfway. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah, I need a bigger water bottle. <laughs> Nice shot, Nathan. Uh oh. Here comes some goalie on goalie. And I think he tried the Kucher off. I tried to get the Kucher for the fake to that NHL shootout. <laughs> I made the decision to stack a pass as soon as I saw him moving towards me. Good times. Okay, so that wraps it up for this drop-in. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure had a good time making this video. And if you're new to the channel, the whole gist of my uh, channel is that I'm an out of shape 38 year old getting back into hockey. So I'm about five months in, five and a half, give or take. And that's what this channel's about. So if you like it, go ahead and like and subscribe. And everybody have a great week, and I'll see you next time.